Today we will be making Sunny Yitjaj. This is a chicken and vegetable bake. It's a complete meal, so delicious, and it comes together with minimal effort. So let's get started. We will need one whole chicken that's been cut into four pieces, one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of the Middle Eastern seven spice mix, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a fourth teaspoon of ground turmeric. We will also need one carrot, and you can use six small sweet peppers or one large one. Here we're using three potatoes, but you can use four or more depending on how much your family likes potatoes. And we'll also need one tomato, one onion, and two tablespoons of olive oil. Start by cutting the vegetables. We'll start with the carrot. You can cut the carrot in half, then in half again lengthwise and cut it into small pieces about two inches in length. Set that aside, then cut the potatoes. For the potatoes, they do not need to be peeled if they are red potatoes or white potatoes, but if they are russet potatoes, then you'll have to peel them. And you can cut those in half, then cut it into um, large chunks, maybe three pieces or four pieces for each half, depending on how large the potato is. Remove the stem of the tomato and cut it down the middle in half, then slice it into long, thick wedges, each half about four pieces. Remove the stems and the seed of the small sweet bell peppers, or if you're using the large one, same thing, and slice each small pepper in half. If you're using the large uh, bell pepper, you can just slice it into thick strips about an inch thick each. Set that aside. And lastly, peel the onion, slice it down the middle, and then slice it into long strips, as you see here in the video. It's better for the onions to be thinner and not as thick as the other vegetables. Now for the assembly, using a baking tray, place the chicken on the bottom of the baking tray, then add in your onions, loosening them gently with your fingers as you add them in. Next, add in all the vegetables and drizzle the olive oil all over the vegetables and the chicken, followed by the salt. Sprinkle the salt evenly all over. We will be mixing it anyway. Next, sprinkle the spices, the spice mix, the turmeric, and the garlic. And with your hands or the tips of your fingers, gently toss everything together as not to smash the tomatoes. You want to make sure that the chicken is fully coated with the olive oil and the seasonings. And you want to make sure that all the vegetables are also coated evenly so that way it the salt is spread evenly and nothing tastes saltier than the other. Once you are done tossing everything, you want to make sure that you return the chicken to the bottom and you kind of place the vegetables on top of it. And if you would like, you can add any kind of vegetables here. You can add mushrooms, you can add zucchinis or squash or eggplants, really any vegetables that you prefer. And you would just cook it the same way. Now we'll need to cover it in foil and it needs to be covered really tightly because we didn't add any water to the bottom. But when it's covered tightly, the steam is not going to release and it still will be super juicy from all the water being released from the vegetables and the juices of the chicken. Cover it tightly and bake it in an oven preheated to 450 degrees. We will bake it for one hour and then uncover it and quickly broil it before serving. Our dish has been baking for an hour. Now we will uncover it and turn on the broiler to high and broil it for five to 10 minutes, really just depending on your oven until it develops a nice brown crust. As you can see here, the skin of the chicken crisped up and it has a nice golden crust. You can sprinkle it as a garnish with some chopped parsley, but this is optional. And then you're ready to dig in. This would be great next to some rice. You can find our video for the rice and vermicelli. It goes great with this dish. I hope this turns out great for you. 
Let us know how you like it in the comment section. Like and subscribe.